What's up guys, welcome back. Fall is on the way and that means it's soup season. So today I'll be showing you how to make broccoli and cheddar soup. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, the, the goods have arrived. As promised, I'll be showing you guys how to make broccoli and cheddar soup, just like they make at Panera. But first, let's give it a taste test, see how it does. I'm not sure why we got a knife and a fork for soup with no spoon. All right. All right, let's see what we got. This is actually one of my favorite soups from Panera, which isn't really saying much. The only other one I like is the butternut squash soup, which is really good. That's my favorite. All right, here we go. Looks like we got some carrots in here, some broccoli. Tastes like I remember all the time. All right, so honestly, it's a little flat on flavor, but it's consistent. You know what you're getting every time you order it, it's, it's the same. Uh, but I think we can do a little bit better homemade. Let's make it happen. And make it happen, we shall. We're gonna get this party started with our veggies. We got broccoli, carrots, and one yellow onion. I'm gonna break out this beautiful knife from Dow Strong. You guys are always asking where I get my knives from, and that is DowStrong.com. I'll go over a few others for you here in just a minute. First things first though, we're gonna cut the ends off of these carrots and we're gonna peel them up and get them nice and clean. If you hate carrots, guys, you can leave this completely out of the recipe, no big deal. Carrots are good for your eyes though, didn't your grandmother used to tell you that? Break out your peeler and peel the skin off the carrots and then we're gonna rinse them. Looking good. Next, we're gonna break out the box grater because we want these carrots to be in nice small pieces. You don't want big chunks of carrots in your soup. So just grate them on your box grater. You can also buy the pre-shredded carrots right from the grocery store if you want to do that. That'll work just fine. So we got about a cup or so of carrots. This is my go-to knife here. This is the 8-inch chef's knife from Dow Strong. Dow Strong is constantly innovating, guys, creating new knives and new products, always trying to outdo themselves, and the quality is just unmatched. It really speaks for itself. I provided a link in the description box so you can check them out and give them a try. Now we're moving on to our broccoli. We're gonna cut the stems off of the broccoli, leaving behind those florets. And then we just wanna chop them down into bite-sized pieces. So use your nice sharp knife. Always remember to sharpen your knives before each use. And then we're just gonna give the broccoli a nice rough chop like you see me doing right here. As always guys, specific measurements and ingredients are provided for you in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. So there is all of our broccoli, our carrots. Only thing missing is our onion. That was easy. So we diced up half of a yellow onion there. Next, we need to shred our cheese. You wanna use good quality sharp cheddar for this. Another pro tip is to put your cheese in the freezer before you shred it. it makes it so much easier to deal with, make your life a little easier. Dow Strong doesn't just make knives, guys. They make awesome cookware as well. This is the pot we're using today for our soup. This pot is both beautiful and durable. Into that pot, we're going in with a half stick of butter. We wanna melt that butter down. Working over medium heat here. We're going in with that half onion that we diced earlier. And we just wanna sweat that down for two or three minutes until the onion starts to get tender, leaving behind all of its delicious flavor. Speaking of delicious flavor, we're going in with our all-purpose seasoning. This is my AP seasoning. It's a blend of salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. Also going in with some red pepper flakes. Those are optional, but does provide a nice little bit of heat. So give that a good mix. If you haven't tried my AP seasoning yet, guys, I've linked to that in the description box as well. Next, we're going in with a teaspoon or so of vegetable base. You can use more or less depending on your salt preference. Just remember that that stuff is super flavorful, but it does have quite a bit of sodium in it. Now we're adding four tablespoons of all-purpose flour. That's gonna be the thickening agent for our soup. Basically creating a roux right here. You wanna work that flour into that butter. Once it starts to foam up, you cook off the raw flour taste for a minute or two, like you see right here. We're going in with our chicken stock. Two cups total. You can use low sodium for that if you wanna adjust the salt levels. Next, we're going in with two cups of half and half. You can use heavy cream or whole milk as well. Whatever you got in the fridge will work. Bring that up to a boil and then reduce that down to a simmer. Break out the whisk and mix to combine. Make sure that your soup is smoother than a school day with a substitute teacher. Say it with me, guys, looking good. And now we're going in with those carrots. 
Again, those are optional, but I do like them in the soup. Add the carrots, add the broccoli. You wanna bring that up to a simmer. And just let that simmer away for about 15 to 20 minutes until the broccoli and the carrots get nice and tender. So go ahead and throw the lid on there and let that simmer away for 15 minutes or so. Then you come back and check on it. There we go. Give that a good mix. Take a spoon and give it a taste test. We're checking for tenderness. Next, we're breaking out the hand blender. We're gonna blend this all together. That's gonna break up the broccoli, kind of make your soup nice and creamy. That's optional, but I do like to do that for my broccoli and cheddar. You can save a couple of broccoli florets if you want big bites of broccoli in there. At this point, we're gonna reduce the heat down to low or turn the heat off altogether and start to add in your sharp cheddar cheese. You wanna mix that constantly to ensure the cheese melts beautifully like you see right here. Do not add the cheese when the soup is super hot, guys. Make sure that you turn the heat off or put it on low. Give it a taste test, make sure the flavor is where you want it. If not, you can go ahead and adjust it. That's the name of the game. Taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference. I went ahead and added a little bit more all-purpose seasoning and a few more red pepper flakes. Give that a good mix. This soup really comes together in about 30 to 45 minutes. Next, we're gonna make our bread bowl so we can be authentic to Panera. Break out the knife, cut the top off like you see right here. You just wanna move around in a circle. Be careful with this, guys. Make sure that you're protecting your hands at all times. Then peel the top off, grab yourself a spoon. And we're gonna hollow out the bread so our soup has a home. Hit it with a little olive oil, pop that in the oven on broil for about three to four minutes or until it gets nice and crispy. Little olive oil, little salt and pepper. And then into the oven, under the broiler it goes. Just a few minutes and it's gonna look beautiful like this. Nice crispy edges around the top. Grab your ladle. We're gonna spoon that into our bread bowl. And we're gonna put Panera to shame, guys. Brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Couple red pepper flakes for garnish. Oh man, that looks good. Soup season is my favorite time of year. A little sharp cheddar cheese right on top. You can do the bread bowl or a regular bowl if you're watching the carbs. This is a fairly low carb meal for my keto and low carb folks. A couple different presentations, couple different money shots. The only thing left to do is give this a taste test. I need to find my spoon. Oh man, look at that. Still got some nice chunks of broccoli in there just like you like. The bread bowl is clutch. You, I feel like I could eat this on the go. Moment of truth. You guys know this one is money. Make sure you give this recipe a try. If you like the recipe, give your boy a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.